Hello everyone, my name is Loco and today is going to be a screencast of StarCraft 2 and I'm going to be starting a little series uh, on the Zerg multiplayer experience in 1v1 and today I'm gonna cover the very very basics in later videos I will be covering all kinds of build orders and reactions to to certain situations. I want to start off uh, with the settings I am playing at. I'm playing on the lowest settings which I would recommend. The action on the screen is less annoying to your eyes. You can clearly see everything. Um, I'm playing on the ultra texture because it gives me a bit more detail. I can actually run the game on ultra uh, suggested as you can see. Then we uh, come at the control settings. The mouse sensitivity in game should never be rounded at 50 or 60 or 70 percent. It turns out that if you put it on 51 percent it's way more accurate than if you put it on 50 percent. So I would advise you to uh, put it on 51 percent. To uh, put it on 51 percent. Oh, hello everyone, my name is Loco, and today I got another game of StarCraft 2 for you. This time it's going to be none other than a Zerg vs Zerg between EG Idra spawning against the blue Zerg in the top right corner of Daybreak. And his opponent for this game is going to be none other than Team Liquid Chat, of course, spawning against the red Zerg in the bottom left corner. But before we actually start talking about the game, uh, I just want to mention that it's incredibly hot here today. here today i don't really know why it's like 30 degrees celsius all of a sudden and yesterday it was like eight i don't really know how or why or why i'm in sight casting this game for you but <laughs> oh well uh, let's hope it's going to be a good zerk versus zerk uh, game it's uh, it's going to be really hot for me so <sighs> excuse me if i do not have as much energy as i do normally have it's going to be a sweating cast both players actually having a lot of respect for each other kind of uh, kind of both players uh, playing for a rivalry. Um, it's kind of a rivalry between both teams actually. It's going to be evil geniuses of course. Uh, versus Team Liquid. Uh, it's kind of the good guys versus the bad guys of course. EG Idra. I'm um, going to be a little, little bit the bad mannered guy. Whereas Liquid Chat is, going, is, is well known for being one of the most mannered guys in the entire scene and it looks like Liquid Chat already at the early part of the game opting to send a drone down to his natural looking for an early hatchery whereas Idriedra actually doing the exact same thing right here so it looks like both players are going to the hatchery of course that doesn't really mean much it's a really big map actually if you would have gone for an early pool um, let's just go from ramp to ramp this is the ramp of early pool Let's early pool. Let's just go from ramp to ramp. This is the ramp of EG Idrian. Let's actually check out the way that the uh, Zerglings would have to run all the way across the map to actually get to the opponent's base. And bam! Now we are at the opponent's base right now. And um, it would just take so so long to actually get there. So oftentimes on this map, we see a hatchery first just because it's relatively safe. However, he did somehow manage to get back in supply a little bit. It's actually a max supply versus 150 right now. But of course, those bases are going to mine out relatively soon. We see a big, big invested Relatively soon, we see a big attack with infested tyrants in the main of Liquid Chat. The main of liquid chat he apparently managed to get some burrowed units in there right now the investors that are burrowed are moving into the natural right now uh, the overseer is trying to desperately be more him, but the uh, main building of e or of liquid chat is being killed off right there so solid solid play right ej idra trying to manipulate pretty much every position so we see the investors uh, that actually managed to kill off the main base almost being able to actually kill off the third base and did a lot of damage in the natural as well they're just easily moving back home will they be able to actually uh, get up 
It's going to be a close one. But it looks like the army is there to back them up. He might be losing one investor, but man, is that going to be enough? However, we see a nice composition right now for Liquid Chat. This is going to be the one chest that he will have because, well, there's no coming back after this fight. When he loses this entire army, it's going to be so much harder for him to come back and he GG's out. So I want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this Zerg vs Zerg. Please hit thumbs up if you enjoyed it. As well as the comments and I'll see you again. Bye. Hello everyone, my name is Loco. Hello everyone, my name is Loco. And welcome to 2013. Bye. Hello everyone, my name is Loco. And welcome to 2013. I just want to make this quick video to wish you all a happy new year and to talk a little bit about 2012. So 2012, pretty damn awesome year for me personally. Um, Esports, personally. Esports, personally. Esports as a sport has grown a lot. StarCraft 2 got a lot bigger. Um, fewer numbers are still climbing as far as uh, StarCraft 2 goes. And just esports in general has improved so, so much. Um, people are easily getting like 5,000 viewers right now on their live streams um, in StarCraft 2. In League of Legends, people even get on their live streams. Um, in StarCraft live streams in StarCraft 2. In League of Legends, people even get up to like 30,000 on their live streams in StarCraft 2. In League of Legends, people even get up to like 30,000 people watching them uh, play a video game. And tournaments even get up to 200,000, if not more, viewers watching at the exact same time it's absolutely crazy so 2012 has been a huge year for esports for starcraft uh for league of legends for all kinds of video games that are out there and i think games are really be so much harder for league of legends for all kinds of video games that are out there and i think games are really becoming a lot more mainstream but also personally um the youtube channel has Personally, the YouTube channel has been growing a lot. I've been putting a lot of effort, a lot of time into that. And I just want to thank you all for watching my videos, for supporting me, for enjoying the stuff that I do. And uh, I hope that you will keep supporting me and keep watching the things that I do in 2013. Hello everyone, my name is Logan. In 2013. Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to a new video. Now today I'm going to talk about something else. We aren't going to yell over some kind of replay or whatever. Today we are going to talk about how we can grow esports. Now, the reason why I'm actually doing this is because I always see this drama going on on either Reddit, on Team Liquid, on all kinds of different kind of forums and I always see this drama that esports is gonna die next week if Blizzard doesn't patch this and if League of Legends doesn't like patch this hero or champion or whatever it's called. Guys, let me just tell you, esports isn't going to die anytime soon. It's actually growing like crazy. Hello, woman. Is actually growing like crazy. Hello, everyone. My name is Loco, and today I have a freaking exciting announcement. Today is the day where we reach 5,000 subscribers on the YouTube. Ah, that is a lot of people. Subscribers on the YouTube. Ah! There is a lot of people that are apparently enjoy the content enough to actually keep subscribed and keep up to date with all the stuff that I'm doing on the YouTube channel, guys. I uh, want to thank every single one of you, whether it be you subscribe today or whether it be you subscribe like way back in 2008 or so, or maybe 2007 even, uh, when I was still creating StarCraft or not StarCraft 2 videos, RuneScape videos. Um, doesn't matter. I want to thank every single one of you. You guys have been freaking amazing. Um, especially over the last few weeks, the channel has been... Um, amazing. Especially over the last few weeks, the channel has been growing a lot with the release of Heart of the Swarm. A lot of new people are interested in the stuff that I've been creating and I really appreciate it.
Um, when I first started making videos, I really wasn't expecting anyone to really watch them. And I also didn't really expect that I would enjoy making them as much. But I really do, and a lot of people turned up to actually watch them. Especially, like I mentioned, over the last few weeks, everything has been growing a significant amount. And uh, yeah, you guys have been freaking amazing. Hello everyone, my name is Loco, and welcome to a new video. Today, we're gonna talk about video games in general. Now, the majority of the questions I've been getting lately are all about Loco, how do you stay so mannered during StarCraft 2 and how do you not rage and stuff? Stay so mannered during StarCraft 2 rage and stuff. And phone shut up. So a lot of phone shut up. So a lot of people have been wondering how apparently you can stay calm while playing video games. And to me, that is actually some of Fuck you! Well, Force and Archons for that matter do a thing called splash damage. I A lot of people have been wondering how apparently you can stay calm while playing video games. And to me, that is actually some- oh, Fuck you! Well, Force and Archons, for that matter, do a thing called splash damage. I know a lot of people will be familiar with this, but if you're not, it basically means that in a short amount of space, they will do, like, a whole lot of damage to that, like, short amount of space. So that means, whereas something like a Hydralisk will only shoot, like, one little dart and it will only hit one thing in the sky, basically the Thor attacks into that ball and they into that area and the entire area gets damaged. And if you have, like, a bunch of Thor shooting there at once... All the Mutalisk pop out of the sky. <gasps> so how do you actually... All the Mutalisk pop out of the sky. <gasps> So how do you actually magic box with your Mutalisk? Well, let's jump straight into the game. So first of all, let's take a look at how Mutalisks normally fly. As you can see... And what happens is as you straight into the game. So first of all, let's take a look at how Mutalisks normally fly. As you can see, usually you're just flying around with them, attack moving left and right, and you're just trying to rounds and pick off units and what happens is as you can see those middle start clumping together and now let's say um, a Thor would come by and it would try and hit the middle of this mutalisk ball what would happen is that pretty much every single mutalisk in like a big radius will get hit right there so how do you actually make sure that your mutalisk stay in the position that you want it to stay in usually you want your mutalisk to actually fly around like this so you can actually um, use them to hit one Thor so how do you use the magic box I got a bunch of mutalisk right here that clumped up right now but the first step to making a magic box is to actually put them somewhere and hit stop. Which for me is the W key on my keyboard. Now what happens, as you can see, is that all the mutalisks right here are starting to spread out. Now as long as I actually stop clicking inside the little box, you can see exactly what's going on here. Engage this door. This is not an attack move, this is a normal move command. So what you do, whenever you're actually fighting against an amazing day, do not forget to smile, we'll see you in the next video. Hello everyone, my name is Loco, and welcome to my very first video of Dark Souls. This is my very first playthrough. Okay. Oh my holy tits! What was that? Let's run. I don't is that a boss? Really did I log out of the boss? Oh this is a boss. Yeah. Has to be. Let's just run! Run! Okay, good. Oh he also hit! Oh! No! No 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 no! Okay, so I basically have to somehow, some way, hit this guy without being smashed in the face. Oh, oh, block, oh! Tits. Tits. Fuck. Fuck. Oh god, I'm gonna do it, Siri! I'm done it! Oh god, come here! No! 
Come here. Uh, snap in the face, bitch. Get in the face, bitch. Bitch. In the face. Three sixty mother. There we go. Nailed that. Oop. Gonna nail it. Oh god. Look at run. Oh god. Look at run. Look at run. Look out. Fucking run. Look out. Fucking. 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 Look out! Run! It's a fucking boss! It's a fucking boss! It's a fucking boss! It's a fucking boss! We don't want to see fucking bosses! We don't want to see fucking bosses! We don't want to see fucking bosses just yet. I want to fucking say. I want to fucking say just yet. I want to fucking say. Fucking. Say. I want to fucking save point here. God, I can't monk. What? Oh god. I will run the other way, sir. Or butterfly. Oh. Oh my god. What? The fuck am? What the f am I supposed to do with you? I'm just gonna die here, and then nobody will ever know I was even here. He's taking so much damage, oh my god. What? What? I- What was that? I can't even get- fuck <laughs> What? Okay. I can't even get- I can't even go. <laughs> what? Okay. Let's just pretend that that didn't happen. Okay, I have no clue what you are. I don't know if I want to know. Oh my! What? You're like a water elemental? Oh, those are from the boss. Ooh. Okay, so this is where my basement key came in hand handy for whatever reason. Oh! Oh! No! Loco! Fuck! A reason. Oh, oh, no, Loco! Fuck, look! No, Loco! Fuck, look! No, 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 no. Holy shit!
Hello everyone, my name is Loco and today I just want to make a really quick video to let you know that I'm going to be once more actively live streaming. I know that's like half a year ago or so I used to live stream every single day now, starting as of a couple of days ago actually, I'm going to try and live stream every single evening. For me that's going to be most likely between 6 and 9 p.m. Uh, might be a little bit later, might be a little bit earlier and it might change during the the next couple of months but that's what I'm trying right now just three hours a day every single night so make sure you click the little link in the description of this video it will actually take you straight to my twitch tv page and you can actually hit the follow button right there and you can actually hit the follow button and you can actually hit the follow button right there which will make sure straight to my Twitch TV page and you can actually hit the follow button right there which will make sure that you actually get a little notification as soon as I'm live streaming. Now what does live streaming mean? Well it basically means that I'm playing video games completely live and I can actually talk to you in the chat and we can just hang out and have some fun and obviously um, we can just have a conversation pretty much which is pretty damn awesome. In order to talk about the long answer why I haven't been uploading as much StarCraft it's because StarCraft Dead game. No, no, no. I know that there will be at least a couple of people in the comment. Proof, StarCraft, no, StarCraft is not a dead game, guys. StarCraft is very much so alive. Uh, the thing is... ...so alive. Uh, the thing is, my goal is to hopefully make this whole YouTube and live streaming thing into a living, okay? That is what I'm, I'm sort of dreaming of. I guess it's like my dream job, so to say, and... I'm really, I'm really trying really hard to hopefully make that dream come true. And I'm really, I'm really trying really hard to hopefully make that dream come true at some point. And if not, I at least try it, right? So I'm having a ton of fun making YouTube videos, um, and it's a little bit. videos and it's a little bit more serious in the way that I, you know, hopefully will be able to make that into a living at some point. And if not, too bad, but at least. If not, too bad. If not, too bad, but at least I tried, right? And I always keep doing this, I imagine, for like fun. At least I say always, but I don't think I will be like 65 years old or like, Hello everyone! <laughs> Welcome to StarCraft 6! <laughs> Are we gonna be like seeing like Cell Naga versus Pro? No, that like. That would not be a thing. The following video contains YouTube comments in their natural habitat and may make absolutely no sense for older audiences. Viewers discretion is advised. P.S. It probably makes no sense for younger people either. All right, I get this sort of stuff on YouTube all the time, guys. And I try to like filter my like comments on YouTube every now and then, all right? Let's, let's try it. Sentimental music. Music. Let's let's try it. Sentiment. Hi. You are also Tollhead. I am also. I know you wonder. World of perfect, except for the dickheads who are being horrible people. I was considering myself being a taller-headed individual to create such a new self-sufficient country like in StarCraft, protected from biological and radiological sources using such armors or SCVs or or whatever with detectors inside so the radio waves which could utilize the conductance of the body could not interfere. So definitely, there is China, or some African state, or some state of the United States, and really, not many larger powers to consider on Earth as possible allies in creating such country, because obviously the larger forces of malevolent sorts would act against us. <laughs> that was beautiful, Heinrich. <laughs> Heinrich. Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to another video. Uh, today, I'm gonna be answering a couple of your questions. I 
just posted on the Twitters and on the Facebooks. Link right below that like button. If you guys have anything to ask me, there were actually a couple of people interested in me. <laughs> and on the Facebooks. Link right below that like button. If you guys have anything... <laughs> Can you lick your elbow? You believe it? Alright, so the very first question comes from Sylvan. He asks, Loco, can you lick your elbow? <laughs> well, I don't I don't think anyone can actually lick the interested in me. Can you believe it? Alright, so the very first question comes from Sylvan. He asks, Loco, can you lick your elbow? <laughs> well, I don't I don't think anyone can actually lick their elbow. I mean, there might be there might be a couple of people who actually reach it, but I'm not I'm not even remotely close, I'll be honest. Like I miss like an extra joint right there in order to do that, but Nope, sorry Sylvan. And the next question comes from Matas. And Matas, I hope I pronounced your name correctly, sir. Uh, but he asked Loco, what are your plans for the future? And right now, actually, well, last week, I started my fourth and final year of uni, at least for this course so far. Um, I did one year before that, that wasn't really relevant, so technically speaking, it's my fifth year of uni. Uh, but this is my fourth and final year for this course, um, so hopefully I'll be able to get my degree at the end of this year, somewhere around August next year is the plan. Um, and um, what I'm gonna be doing afterwards, I hopefully will be able to do this whole year. YouTube and live streaming thing full time. Uh, I've been spending a lot of time making the YouTube videos and the daily live streams and all that sort of stuff. It's basically like working a second job and that's because I really really enjoy it and you know because my goal is to hopefully make it into something I can do full time uh, by the end of the actual year. So I'm getting a degree sort of as like a backup plan you could say? Whatever. Ludwig asks, Loco, what kind of car do you drive? And it might be because I actually um, posted about that a couple of times a couple of months ago because I only recently got my driver's license. I think it was in like Gen... No, actually no, I think it was like May or something that I actually got my driver's license of this year. Now I'm about to turn 22, so I'm a bit older. In the Netherlands you're allowed to start driving a bit older. In the Netherlands you're allowed to year. Now I'm about to turn 22, so I'm older and a lot of times you're allowed to start driving where you're 18 but I never you know I just never did because I'm a nerd I enjoy playing video games and sitting inside uh, but he asked Loco what car do you drive and honestly I don't have a car I no, I use public transport and I can like lend my parents car if I really need to but other than that no I, I've never I've never owned a car and I'm probably not gonna own a car for at least another year or so because I like to sit in my room and play video games Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Room and play video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Loco, and today is the day where we just reach fifty thousand subscribers. Fifty thousand subscribers on YouTube. That is an insane amount of people. That is more people than I can actually count. I mean, if you guys would stand in front of me right now, I would likely be absolutely terrified and maybe not even really be able to talk this comfortably right now. At the very least, not dance on the camera. But anyhow, I just wanted to make this super quick video to thank you all very much for hitting that subscribe button. It is an insane amount of people. And I can remember that I was just as happy getting like 200 subscribers. Uh, way back in the day when I used to upload RuneScape videos. I wonder if there's still any people around from those days. Because that was like 2008, 2009, it's been a while. But whether or not you joined five years ago, or maybe even today, or last week or whatever, you are definitely more than welcome. Thank you very much for all the support. I know in the past I used to talk about this quite a lot, and I haven't really been able to like talk like one-on-one -on -one with the camera as much recently, but I'd like to introduce this a little bit more to the channel. Been doing a lot of gameplay, doing a lot of different games as well, and I'm very glad that you guys are enjoying it. Uh, but just know that I am extremely grateful you guys are all still here. It is very crazy to imagine that 50,000 people have willingly
like click the button to subscribe to the stuff that I make. And if things are going the way they are right now, in about a month or two, we will be reaching a million monthly views. That is ridiculous. So thank you. Seriously, thank you very much. All right, all right, all right. Let's talk about these macro mechanics once and for all. Kind of feels like I'm beating a dead horse right now because I've been talking about it so much in the past. So I think this may very well be the last time that I'm going to be talking about it. But hey, they did some massive patching, so let's talk about it. Hello, everyone. My name is Loco and welcome to another video. Now, I'm I'm in a bit of a different room right now. Um, I don't know if it's actually too echoey. Now I listen to myself for a second right here. But anyways, in this video, I want to be discussing the change macro mechanics once again. So a couple weeks ago, I did make a video explaining the changes that they've made to Legacy of the Void, where basically right now, queens do automatic injects, mules would automatically land, and you know chrono boost also changed up quite significantly now yesterday in the last patch that they introduced for legacy of the void they've basically reverted all of those changes and right now it's sort of like playing hard with the swarm queens can now actually queue up injects but the mule was back just like it used to be and chrono boost actually got changed more of like a legacy of the void version but chrono boost honestly out of these three macro mechanics feels very insignificant so in this video i want to be making a case for the removal of macro mechanics or at the very least to go back to a place where you don't have to manually go back to your base every two seconds and i know this is a little bit in contrast of what i uploaded in the past because i actually really did not like the idea of the removal of macro mechanics at all however ever since the patch went live even though i was negative at first i've been playing about 20 games a day every single day since then and it's been going actually very very well the more i played of legacy of the void with the removal or the automatic queen inject so to say the more i played with it the more i enjoyed it you know when they first announced the changes i was like okay so that means my APM is gonna drop down to like a hundred. There's nothing else to do. What am I gonna do if I'm not gonna do Queen and Jacks? It's a direct nerf to my skill because I've been practicing this mechanics for years. But in reality, what happened is that I started spending my APM in different places. My crease spread became significantly better. I started expanding a lot more. My overlord scouting got a lot better. I started, you know, running zerklings across the map. I started moving out with small armies, started experimenting with overlord harass and all kinds of significant things that I didn't even consider. Sitter. Now obviously now that they've brought back the macro mechanics to you know basically their original state That doesn't mean that those skills can't carry over anymore But it does feel like it's taking away a big chunk of what the goal of legacy of the void was to me at the very least It felt like the introduction of archon modes and allied commanders was meant to you know Have new players join the game to allow new starcraft 2 players to actually buy the game and be reasonable when they first start playing at but because let's face it if you pick up part of the swarm right now You're gonna be pretty terrible for the first half year or so and it really felt to me like they were trying to make the game a little bit more approachable for new play Play For new play Play I was there just a couple of weeks ago, but this entire place has changed for some reason. All right, so here's the thing. Usually, whenever I try travel anywhere, I prepared two videos in advance for every single day that I'm gone. And I did the same this time around, however, only prepared one video a day instead. The reason for that is kind of simple. I used to cut on pretty much all sleep about a week prior to me leaving. Now what I'm gonna do this time around is actually simply go for a daily vlog as well and take you guys with me. And about 20 hours ever since I woke up, I am finally at the hotel. For some reason, I got two beds. I'm not completely certain why I also have a couch I'm not completely sure why I got any of this I managed to sleep a solid two hours on the plane even though the flight was 11 hours and there is nine hours of time difference so as it is right now I'm extremely jet-lagged I'm gonna have to try to not fall asleep because that's just gonna mess me up even more
And since I'm now here anyway, I guess we may as well go full tourist. Bring the big guns as well. Alright guys. Bring the big guns as well. Alright guys, so I just met up with White Rarit here. He has a great plan. Yeah, you make a special barbecue and the fact that we need to buy a lot of uh, meat. Take some beer and uh, yeah, go to park. Alright. Yeah, so basically I ran across White Rarit in the lobby. And he told me that yeah. he was going to go on a barbecue with uh, with cats and some other dudes as well from, uh, from Root. Which is pretty awesome. <laughs> Alright, so the only thing we really need now for the barbecue is, you know, charcoal, which is kind of useful. <laughs> but we can't actually find any. Alright, so while we took the Uber here, Whitra was talking about how we're not gonna drink today. And then he said, no, we're just gonna have a couple beers. He wanted to get three more of those. It's kind of ridiculous. We got everything except charcoal. Important. And yeah, kind of important if you wanna do <laughs> if you wanna do a barbecue. <laughs> As some of you may have already noticed, the YouTube channel just surpassed 100,000 subscribers. <gasps> Honestly, when I first started making these videos, I never even expected to get this far. Even when I started to do this seriously, I first I wanted to get like 25,000 subscribers and then 50,000 subscribers. And now we're at 100,000 people that decided to, you know, voluntarily click a button that says, hey, I actually like this stuff. That is insane. So first off, thank you so much for being here. I would say thank you 100,000 times, but I think that's gonna take a little bit too long. That's gonna be like a five hour long video. But sincerely, thank you, this is awesome. I mean, in the end, I'm just a nerd that sits in his room playing video games, right? And it turns out there's a lot of people that watch the stuff that I make. It is really weird to imagine that 100,000 people actually decided to subscribe to the content, and it's absolutely insane. And I know what you're thinking, I've seen those comments as well, it's like, oh my god, I don't understand why Loco doesn't have 4 million subscribers, like, you know, YouTuber X. And while it's obviously true that I don't have 4 million subscribers, I am extremely happy with the fact that we just reached 100,000 subscribers. Have I already mentioned that we've reached 100,000 subscribers? Hello everyone, my name We've reached 100,000 subscribers. Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to some more Counter-Strike Global Offensive. As you may be aware, I am completely new to this game. I've I've been playing for, you know, a couple hours here and there over the last couple of weeks and I finally unlocked competitive mode. Now, I've been playing quite a couple of matches, I'm not quite ranked yet, but let's do a full playthrough of one of those competitive games. Alright, so in the very first round, I did manage to actually go ahead and kill one of my opponents. However, we did also manage to actually go down ourselves, but we won the very first match. Now, one important thing to note right off the bat is that I wanted to actually include that match. In, um, in the video, however, my teammates immediately started complaining. I mean, for some reason in, in this game, it seems to be very popular to immediately, you know, talk about things like hacks. And most importantly, my entire team didn't speak English, which doesn't really help our calls very much. But the only thing I heard was hacks, hacks, hacks. So anyways, we're going to try our very best. So I ended up going for the UMP right here after buying a full set of armor. I'm going to try my very best to, you know, score as many kills with that. as many kills with that and I am gonna try and switch into an M4A1S so sadly not gonna get too much team communication but for the most part since we are still in the placement matches I feel like a lot of the scenarios it's not even really all that relevant okay so you got to keep in mind I am not particularly great at this game okay there's still a lot of things I still need to learn and with that comes the fact that I just need to practice I just need to practice all right uh, I don't actually want that Alright, uh, fine, whatever. Um, let me have that. Alright. Whatever. 
Um, let me have that. All right. So it looks like we actually immediately managed to win the second round there. I'm going to go ahead and smoke the middle here. I always get a little messy here in the middle. And the bomb did just get planted. So that's good. Or not the middle, I suppose. I guess that would be... Oh, good. I guess that would be oh, the CT spawn. Okay, then. Will be called. Here we go. We can go down with the ship and just simply get blown up. But here we go. We got the final kill. And like the total noob that I am, I actually, you know, thought the previous round was going to be potentially the final one. But no, obviously not. We got to 15 first, though. That's pretty good for us. I'm going to go ahead here and start headed towards this area. I did throw a smoke there. I do have to bomb as well. Oh my god. Bro, Darko, you keep scaring me, man. You can't just run up the staircase. Like that? Well, actually, you almost got me killed there. Just because I actually, uh, I wasn't really prepared for it. That is an ally over there. So I guess we can ha start heading towards B instead. Yep, all of the enemies seem to be located on the other end of the map. Just gonna take it a little careful here. There's a lot of different nukes they can shoot from. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and plant here. Ooh. That is one of the enemies there. Gotcha. Alright then. Alright then. And it's the final one! Boom! Got him as well! So now we do end up winning the victory. I went 27 wins. Or 27 kills rather with 12 losses, which is definitely a pretty solid, uh, you know, win ratio there and kill death ratio as well. In general, I would say there's still a lot of practicing to do, especially as far as like grenade throwing goes. And also make some silly mistakes. Like, hit that like button. It is showing. Do not forget to smile, alright? There in a little bit. Um, I need to actually do a couple more, but I hope you enjoyed watching this match. If you haven't already... Need to actually do a couple more, but now I'm not gonna do a couple more, but now I'm not gonna lie. Ever since I first started making da daily videos, um, I need to. To actually do a couple more but now I'm not gonna lie ever since I first started making daily videos I really haven't missed a day or at the very least I have never been ill to the point where I wasn't able to make videos but over the last 24 hours I've basically just been spending all of it in bed for anyone wondering last night I had a fever of 39.7 degrees Celsius which in general is probably the worst fever I've ever had in my life however it is currently the 24th of December I know that some of you are celebrating Christmas today. I know that the vast majority of the world will be celebrating it tomorrow. So you know what? It is time to make a quick video and then jump straight back into bed. Now, it may sound a little bit sassy, but I'm not gonna lie. 2016 has probably been the best year of my life so far. I mean, I've been able to move this thing that I love doing as a hobby into something that I can consider my living as well as my career. I've been able to, you know, move the whole content creation thing on both YouTube and Twitch and everything into something that I can actually do full time right now. And the only reason why that is the case is because in StarCraft 2, hello everyone, my name is Loco and today I have on the YouTube channel. Guys I said, what I'm gonna do been able to 
do full time right now and the only reason why that is the case is because you guys have been able to support me you are watching the content and i've been getting a ton of support on both youtube as well as on twitch as well as on patreon and pretty much all of the media that i've been active on and i have no pl plans on on stopping this anytime soon i've been having a blast ever since i first started creating content and you know, it's just getting more and more fun the more time goes by. Oh, and I actually really love this question right here. Kiro Ace asks, if Blizzard makes Warcraft 4 and it becomes extremely popular, would you consider prioritizing it over StarCraft as your main RTS? That's an interesting question, right? So first off, do I think they're gonna... So first off... Right, so first off, do I think they're gonna be making Warcraft 4? Or do I think they're gonna be making StarCraft 3? Because that's actually... That's actually a pretty important thing to try and keep... Esports as a sport has grown a lot. Starcraft tournaments today we are liquid and up to date with all the stuff we're creating stuff. majority of the questions have been oh, and welcome to a new video today it's all about it's all dark and it will only hit one thing in the sky basically the thor attacks into that ball and they into that area oh this is boss <laughs> i'm going to try and live stream every but that's what I'm trying. Uh, the thing is, my goal is to hopefully make this whole YouTube and probably makes no sense to create such a. But nope, sorry, Sylvan. And the next question about your plans for the future. And right now, at the very least, not dance on the camera. But anyhow, I just. So I did make a video explaining the channel. I preferred it all of the day instead. The reason for that is kind of simple. I used to cut on pretty much. All Basically, I run. A I started to do the same. However, my teammates. Even in general, it's probably the worst fever I've ever had. In now, it may sound, it seems like they've sort of like split up the different games into the different genres. I'm sure it's Minecraft 3. About 80 or so hours, I'm gonna be the alert. Come on, and come. Do I think they're gonna be making Warcraft 4, or do I think they're gonna be making StarCraft 3? Because that's actually, that's actually a pretty important thing to try and keep in mind, right? As it is right now, what I've been noticing over the last few years, at the very least for like Blizzard's games that they have introduced, they seem to sort of have like split up the different games into the different genres of games as well. So for example, Overwatch is their shooter, StarCraft 2 is their RTS, World of Warcraft is their, you know, MMORPG, and then Warcraft is also their card game. Then we have the action RTS, or the action RPG rather, that is known as Diablo. Um, and it seems like they've sort of like split up Diablo. And it, and it seems like they've sort of like split up the different games into the different genres as well. So I don't know if it would be more likely to see StarCraft 3 or Warcraft 4. But regardless, one cool thing that actually happened recently, and, and this is like purely speculation, so please, you know, try and keep that in mind. Uh, Dustin Browder, the lead designer of like, keep that in mind. Mind. Dustin Browder, the lead designer of like pretty much all big RTS games that have ever existed. I mean, you know, including StarCraft 2. He's also been the game director on Heroes of the Storm and a whole bunch of other stuff. He basically um, like left the position as game director in favor of someone else. And he hasn't left Blizzard Entertainment, right? Now, these are the top creators in the entire world. They are some of the very best like game directors you can find. So I'm sure that Blizzard isn't just allowing him to sit around and work on nothing, right? So... Basically, the, the top guy. I mean, let me, let, me, let me look it up real quick. All right, so here's what he's worked on. He's worked on Command & Conquer, Command & Conquer Red Alert, Command & Conquer Generals, The Lord of the Rings, The Battle for Middle-Earth, that he's also done StarCraft II, Heroes of the Storm, and a whole bunch of other games. I'm sure they're not just letting him sit around and do nothing, right? So I'm thinking here that at the very least, he's having some sort of like lead position on an unassigned project from Blizzard. I have no idea if that is true. I don't know if that's accurate, but I'd like to fanboy a little bit because I'm a bit of a Blizzard fanboy. Anyway, would it be StarCraft 3 or Warcraft 4? I'm not entirely sure, but your question was, would I go ahead and play that and potentially have that be as like my main game on the channel? I mean, sure, I, if it's a really good game, right? And it turns out to be a lot of fun. I mean, a lot of people always wonder whether or not like StarCraft 2 is dying, right? StarCraft 2 is a dead game. It's sort of like a meme that's going around on the internet for a while now. 
Um, I feel like the only game that could potentially kill StarCraft 2, whatever that means, right? Basically bring the audience down to a point where there's not a whole lot of people watching anymore. I feel like the only game that could actually do that is like, you know, you know, another RTS from Blizzard themselves. I mean, that would basically cannibalize their own audience and, you know, make that switch over to that new game, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. So... you know, make that switch over to that new game, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. So, yeah, if that game turns out to be really good, I don't see why I wouldn't go ahead and play that, right? I mean, Warcraft 4, Starcraft 3, either of them sound amazing to me. Master Teddy asks, and this is going to be the last question for today, if you were a girl, what would you call yourself? I don't know what I would call myself. I don't know what my, my gaming nickname would be either, but... I do apparently know what I would look like. One of you actually ended up photoshopping it, and I'm not entirely sure if I'm supposed to be... Appreciative or if I'm so Oh man, it's just so wrong. I finally made it <laughs> It's been Appreciative or if I'm so oh man, it's just so wrong. I finally Made it <laughs> It's been so very very long traveling once again today. So here's the plan. It's currently this Sunday Tomorrow, there's a StarCraft Remastered event over here in the exact hotel that I'm in right now as well. The day after, I'm flying back home once again. So, in the span of about 80 or so hours, I'm gonna be traveling about a good 30 or so in total. But it's all good. So, I know that at least Rotterdam and Rifkin are here somewhere. So, I'm kind of hoping that there's some sort of dinner going on later. One final thing to keep in mind is that I'm gonna be horribly jet-lagged for the entirety of this trip. I mean... It's currently 5.30 p.m. over here, and that would make it about 2.30 a.m. over in the Netherlands. So, I'm gonna have to stay up for probably about another six hours or so, which means that I'm essentially pulling an all-nighter. Not gonna lie, though, I can get used to this weather. I mean, look at that sun. For anyone unfamiliar, and actually, that light, <laughs> that light is terrible. For anyone unfamiliar, in the Netherlands, it rains pretty much every single day. Maybe, maybe about, you know, two hours. Out of three days or so it will be raining. Hello everyone, my name is Loco and I finally made my way back home after spending a week in the United States. The main reason why I was there was BlizzCon and during the opening ceremony, which I'm sure a lot of you watched, Mike Morheim announced this. We are always looking for ways to help you get new this we are always looking for ways to help you get new friends into the game and bring old friends back as well so i'm very excited to announce that we're making starcraft 2 free to play all right so starcraft 2 will be free to play but what exactly does that mean because i posted it on twitter and on facebook right from the get-go but i gotta be honest i saw a lot of responses that i did not quite expect Obviously a lot of you were excited as well, but a lot of people felt like it was unfair considering they bought the game like seven and a half years ago and now it was going to be given out for free. So let's talk about the details. Alright, so first things first. I am personally of the opinion that StarCraft 2 going free to play is the exact thing that the game needs with the future in mind. The obvious reason behind StarCraft 2 going free to play is that it will indeed attract attract more players. So in the past there was a StarCraft 2 starter edition and I've always felt like the marketing for that was kind of poor. Over time more and more things got added to it and if I'm not mistaken right now you can go ahead and play a couple of missions of the campaign, you can play a part of multiplayer, the entirety of the arcade is free. I believe that the first three commanders, so Artanis, Kerrigan and then also Raynor are completely free to play. And really all things considered what I'm trying to get at is that there's already a ton of content available for free in StarCraft 2 but not a lot of people are aware of it. So really what's being added right now is that if you don't own the game you get the entirety of the Wings of Liberty campaign for free and if you already own Wings of Liberty you get Heart of the Swarm instead. Secondly all of the co-op commanders will be free to play until level 5 and if you play the game for at least 10 days you also get the ranked ladder of StarCraft 2 for free. So really 
Basically, there's a starter edition and there's a couple of additions that they've made to it. But all things considered, I feel like it's more or less a rebranding more so than anything. Which, in my opinion, is the exact thing that the game needs. So, I went to the US, not just for BlizzCon, but also for the StarCraft II Summit. And personally, right, I was wondering what my plans for 2018 would look like. I mean, do I want to stick to StarCraft II being my main game? Should I start looking into other games as well? Because obviously, with the future in mind, once again... ...all of additions that they've made to StarCraft II being my main game... Should I start looking into other games as well? Because obviously with the future in mind, once again, it's hard to say where StarCraft is going to be in, say, a couple of years from now. And with an announcement like this, right, knowing that a lot of people are looking to join the game, I am not going to go anywhere anytime soon. Because StarCraft 2, even after all these years, is still my personal favorite. And if I don't have to, I really... I don't want to go anywhere. Today is a bit of a special day, as today, exactly 10 years ago, ago I started this YouTube channel. So I figured what better way to celebrate than to go back into the archives and watch some of my very first videos and probably cringe together. So let's sort on the oldest videos first and then have a quick little look at this one from six years ago Zerg starcraft 2 guide the very basics hello everyone my name is loco and today is going to be a screencast of starcraft 2 and i'm going to be starting a little series uh on the zerg multiplayer experience in 1v1 and today I'm gonna cover the very, very basics. In later videos, I'm so as you may have already noticed, uh, my my accent has changed just a tiny little bit. You know, just a, just a tiny little bit. I mean, turns out I pronounce every single V as an F because essentially in the Dutch language, which is obviously my native tongue, I. don't really hear any kind of differences between the V and the F sound. Uh, so right here I am explaining to you the very, very basics. I will be covering all kinds of build orders and reactions to certain situations. I want to start off uh, with the settings I am playing at. I'm playing on the lowest settings, which I would recommend. The action on the screen so is less watch. annoying to your eyes. You can clearly see everything. Um, I'm playing on the Ultra texture because it gives me a bit more detail. I can actually run the game on Ultra, uh, suggested as you can see. <laughs> Let me uh, comment. The wait, 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 wait. So let's let oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is just me doing like a very subtle brag in my very first video of all time. I just wanted to show off real quick, right, that my computer is perfectly capable of running the ultra settings. I just decided, you know, as a personal decision to not go ahead and do that. I kind of want to find one where I'm first showing my face. I think, I think that was probably like a year or so after I first started. All right, so I've been scrolling down for a little while and I found some thumbnails right here with my face on them. I'm just gonna click a random one. Zerk vs. Zerk build order. Idras Zerk vs. Zerk. That's a name I haven't heard in a while. Hello everyone, my name's Loco, and welcome to... Zerk vs. Zerk. That's a name I haven't heard in a while. Hello everyone, my name's Loco, and welcome to a new episode of StarCraft 2 Study. I actually had a bunch of people asking me um, if I could make some more StarCraft 2 study episodes, because there's still a lot of people out there that are struggling with build- You know what's funny? This video is, is about 5-6 years old right now, so it's December 25th. I actually uploaded this on Christmas Day, and I don't even mention it. Alright, very interesting. But anyways, this video is, you know, about 5 years old, and it looks like since then I have aged about 10 years at the very minimum. Right? I mean... <laughs> 
Very minimum. The haircut also, I just want to point out, this is a very common graphical error. Hello everyone, my name is Loco, and welcome to a new episode of StarCraft to Study. Apparently I didn't quite realize it, or maybe I did while editing it, and I just decided that I didn't care enough to just go ahead and, and fix that? Not entirely sure. So the YouTube channel was created on the 11th of February 2001. Not entirely sure. So the YouTube channel was Created on the 11th of February 2008. We are actually just about to close in on 100 million total views. Probably gonna reach that, I don't know, in a month or two. Nah, probably, probably a little bit longer than that, but regardless. Um, as you may have already noticed though, regardless. Regardless. As you may have already noticed though, the very... As you may have already noticed though, the very first video that is currently up right here on the channel is from six years ago. I actually did start making videos several years prior to this as well, but sadly I had to remove all of those and I, I do have a backup somewhere, but I don't really know exactly where, but I had to remove all of those videos because of copyrighted music in the background. You see, when I first started making videos, YouTube was quite literally just the easiest platform to upload videos to. I mean, I guess it still is, even to this day as well, but back then, I mean, you had a couple of different websites, but there was no such thing as like a YouTube par partnership program. There were no channels that probably had more than like 50,000 subscribers at the very most. No one was earning any kind of money off of YouTube whatsoever. It was just a... You know, you know, just like you have like image hosting platforms, you also then had like video hosting platforms and YouTube was just a convenient way of sharing videos with your friends. And that was quite literally the reason why I wanted to have a YouTube channel myself as well. Now I would show you some of my oldest videos, the ones that I made before starting the StarCraft 2 ones. However, I quite literally can't because of the copyrighted music. I mean, back in the day, I played a ton of runes escape videos uh, obviously with a lot of like heavy metal and rock music in the background i know i was a big fan of you know bands like disturbed i listened to a lot of like breaking benjamin obviously linking park and I'm, I'm sure that if you remember the runescape days back in like i don't know 2006 2007 2008 or so you may remember a lot of the videos that were made back then as well and i just simply looked at what other people were uploading and i tried to do the exact same thing now, eventually, obviously, right, YouTube started rolling out the partnership program. They started adding advertisements to videos, allowing people to earn a little bit of money. And in order for your channel to become monetizable, and I wanted to try and jump on that boat right away, I had to go ahead and remove all of the old videos that had copyrighted music in them. So just to clarify, right, I started making RuneScape videos and I started uploading them to this YouTube channel about nine or ten or so years ago. I sadly had to remove all of those. However, six years ago, I decided to start trying my hand at some StarCraft 2 content as well. And I've still been doing that. However, for the first couple of years, I mean, it was literally just something that I wanted to do for fun. It was just something that I wanted to share with my friends and hopefully help some other people out as well in the process. Not until about a year and a half or so ago from now is when I really decided to uh, to start going into this full time. Although, you know, truth be told about, it's probably been about two and a half to three years or so uh, when I really started putting in a ton more effort where I really wanted to start uploading every single day. I gotta say though, what we've got right now has been working out really on guard, a decently. All right, so five years of the process, not until about a year and a half or so ago from now is when I really decided to uh, to start going into, you know, I think it's been All right. So five years ago, I made an announcement video for Skyrim Dawn Guard, a DLC expansion. Okay, let's have a look. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I still love that song though. That's so good.
Hello, my name is Simon. Long though, that's so Hello good. everyone, my name is Simon and today I want to bring you some awesome quick update about Skyrim. As you all know, Skyrim has been popular for about the last six months and it's been getting the best reviews on the planet. Pretty much in video gaming, and today the developer no, of no, notice the video gaming, right? Not the video gaming, the, the video gaming. My accent right now isn't perfect. the video. Today the developer no, of no, notice the video gaming, right? Not the video gaming, the, the video gaming. My accent right now isn't perfect, and I fully realize that, but listening back to my older videos, it just, oh, man, it almost hurts. You know, it's, it's like so, for me, it's so cringeworthy. I know that some of you probably don't think it's that terrible, but... Skyrim has announced the official name of the first Skyrim DLC package, and it will be called Dawnguard. They announced the name of the new expansion pack for Skyrim, and all they gave was this image you're seeing on the screen right now, saying there will be more information at the E3 convention. It will be released somewhere this summer. So this is literally just me, like, you know, this could have been a tweet, you know what I mean? This entire video could have just been a tweet. Hey, the funniest thing is, you know, this is just me, like, you know, this could have been a tweet, you know what I mean? This entire video could have just been a tweet. Hey, the funniest thing is that I even do have my my Twitter right here in the description of this video as, as well. That's still the exact same one to this date. I don't I don't even know why I made this entire video just dedicated to it. I, I guess I was just really excited for it. That's honestly the thing, though. I got really excited about video games, and I wanted to share that with people. So, you know, that's kind of what went down here as well. I just, you know, got really excited about this Skyrim expansion, and I figured... I need to share this with my with my audience as well. All right, so now it's time to listen to one of my very first casts in StarCraft 2 that I've up uploaded on this YouTube channel. Now, please note, at the time, I pretty much exclusively played Zerg. So this is going to be a Terran versus Terran, a matchup I don't really understand. I don't know what to expect. Oh, I got an intro? Oh, lovely. Hello, everyone. My name is Simon, and today we are watching a really exciting game. <laughs> Oh my Between Kawhi Rice in the bottom left of this corner of this map that I really forgot the name of once again because I don't want to go back and actually check out who it is. Oh, <gasps> come on. Because he's already saying it. I just revert to the map, by the way, as a who. This guy with the Korean language and all those weird signs that I can't read at all. Looking back at this, is that is that even Korean? Anyway. It's actually Team Light's Kawhi Rice. Well, this is not really the guy that this replay is all about. It's going to be the guy in the top right corner of this map. Oh, by the way, I think I remember the name of this map. I think it's Cloud Kingdom, unless unless I'm crazy, but... The guy with the hidden idea, and this is actually the idea that the Flash was playing on earlier today or yesterday on a YouTube video. So, so I know I'm pausing non-stop, right? But I'm pausing non-stop, right? But I'm saying idea... Idea, right? Like, like, like it's an A. I've got an idea, right? Instead of ID, the, the hidden ID is what I'm. The, the hidden ID is what I is what I mean. Okay, it's it's got nothing to do with ideas, but and since he's not saying anything back.
but I'm saying idea, idea, right? Like, like, like it's an idea. I've got an idea. The, the hidden ID is what I is what I mean. Okay, it's it's got nothing to do with ideas, but. And since he's not saying anything back, and Kawara is saying. Hey, are you Flash? And he's not saying anything back. This might as well be Flash. If you guys don't know Flash, <laughs> Flash is basically the most talented and most, like, like by far the best player in StarCraft 1 Brute War. He's, <laughs> he's known for um, like everything that I'm, is Brute War. Guys, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't. Can't watch this. I, it's just, it's just so bad. Ooh, I gotta say, I like this thumbnail right here. StarCraft 2, Team Mono Battles number one. Marines everywhere. 600 views, uploaded five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> the guy had like nothing left. He's still definitely trying to upgrade. Oh, there we go. Why oh my god, it? he's gonna warp him once. Why, why, why did I delay that? Like, why is there a- Hello everyone, my name is Loco, and today it's time for some- Why did I delay that? Like, why is there a- Hello everyone, my name is Loco. Like, why is there a- Hello everyone, my name is Loco, and today it's time for some team mono battles. This time it's going to be me. Playing as the random player, and if you don't know what Team Mono Battles is, it basically means that you will be able to pick one unit at the start of the game, or of course you can random a unit, and that is the only unit that you will be able to create that game. So, in this game, you know, I wonder what unit I'm going to get. I'm going to random it, so I might get some terrible unit like a Viking or something, or I actually will be a... Uh I'm almost disappointed. I'm almost disappointed in like, you know, old loco here, okay? Why did I not just start this video? And this makes perfect sense in my head right now, right? But why didn't I... ...only unit that you will be able to create that game. So, in this game, you know... I wonder what unit I'm going to get. I'm going to random it, so I might get some terrible unit like a Viking or... A Viking or something. Like a Viking or something, or I actually will be a... I'm almost disappointed in like, you know, old loco here, okay? Why did I not just start this video? And this makes perfect sense in my head right now, right? But why didn't I just start the video when the game started? Like, why is, why did I start it in the lobby and then have the entire loading screen part of this video as well? <laughs> Ow. Ow. unit like a Viking or something. I wonder what unit I'm going to get. I'm going to random it, so I might get some terrible unit like a Viking or like a Viking or something, or a unit like a Viking or something, or I actually like. Why is why did I start it in the lobby and then have the entire loading screen part of this video as well? <laughs> um, <gasps> and actually got my video as well. Um. <gasps> and actually got marines! Wait! I got one of the best units you can possibly get in uh... <laughs> you can- you can possibly get uh, as, as playing this guy. Oh um, no, Loco! Of course it's going to be still really- I forgot what I was saying, I lost my train of thought and I still do that these days as well, but... <sighs> Alright, let's check out this one. Bro- Alright, let's check out this one. Bro- 
coaches. Starcraft 2, Heart of the Swarm, Team Mono Battles. Hello everyone, my name is Loka, and today we're gonna be playing some Team Mono Battles. Hello. Hello. Hello for woman is low. Hello for woman is low. Hello for woman is low. And today we're gonna be playing some team mono battles. I'm actually live streaming this as we speak right now, which is kind of a lot of fun. Um, and today we're actually gonna be playing random, random, random team mono battles. So for anyone wondering what a team mono battle is, it basically means that you're allowed to make one unit and one unit only. Team mono battles. Hello everyone, my name is Loka, and today we're gonna be playing some team mono battles. I'm actually live streaming this as we be playing random, random, random team mono battles. So for anyone wondering what a team mono battle is, it basically means that you're allowed to make one unit and one unit only. So for, let's say for example, I might get warp. It's why am I? It's why am I so loud? So as some of you may have noticed, why am I so loud? So as some of you may have noticed, the channel recently surpassed three hundred thousand subscribers, which is just an absolutely ludicrous number. So I figured there would be two different options. Either I would spend a video counting from zero to three hundred thousand. Siri is absolutely pointless. Apparently, if you count two numbers a second, it would take roughly five days, 18 hours, 53 minutes, and 20 seconds. So I figured instead it's it's probably better to go ahead and do a Q&A. So I went on Twitter and on Facebook asking if anyone had any questions, and it turns out that, yeah, there's actually, there's actually quite a few of them. Now, I haven't looked through these just yet, so let's get started. Now, the first question comes comes from someone whose nickname I can't read. He asks, does YouTube still send out golden play buttons? They sure do. So at 100,000 subscribers, actually, let me, let me go ahead and get it real quick. Yeah, so when the YouTube channel first surpassed 100,000 subscribers, YouTube sent me the silver play button. Now, they do send out a golden play button as well once the channel surpasses 1 million subscribers, but that seems, that seems quite far off at this point. Maybe at Dude, honestly, 300,000 subscribers is already insane. The fact that 300,000 people, that's more than, than twice the amount of people that you know, live in the city that I currently live in, um, that means that 300,000 people willingly press the button to subscribe to the channel, that's insane. Thank you, seriously, thank you. All right, so this has to be one of the videos that I am most, has to be one of the videos that I am most proud of so far. As of today, the Loco announced is available in StarCraft 2. This has to be one of the coolest projects I've ever got to work on and I'm not gonna lie. I, as you guys know, I'm a massive fan of Blizzard games in general. I love StarCraft 2. When I bought Wings of Liberty in 2010, I never expected we would get to this point where I guess, well, for you guys, there's there's six locos staring at you from the in-game menu in StarCraft 2. It's, it's five in-game and I guess my face added to it as well makes it six, but... I haven't heard any of the lines in game just yet. We can listen to some of the previews over here. Nah, you're gonna have to put that building somewhere else. More tech, more options. Mutation complete. Your pylon is being attacked. Good luck, you can do this. But um, I haven't heard it in an actual game just yet. I wanted to wait until I played a game, until I was recording. So without further ado, I think we are gonna jump into a one versus one. I've got a feeling that this is gonna be really confusing. I, I'm gonna hear myself mention 
that I'm out of minerals and that I need overlords and that kind of thing. This this game is probably. Probably gotta be terrible, so don't judge my skill too harshly. But here we go. It looks like it's gonna be a Zerg versus Protoss on Kairos Junction LE. Man, I am curious what this sounds like. It's time to focus. Good luck. <laughs> so I recently went to Paris after writing the script for this uh, voice back. You're all out of minerals. <laughs> You're broke. Need more minerals. I recently went to you Paris to record about uh, more of them. about 170 you lines or so. Or it's not going to happen. <laughs> You're in need of more I'm just not gonna say Are anything. Out of <laughs> <laughs> but there's about 170 or so unique lines. I'm not exactly sure on the number, and um, yeah, it's gonna be very strange to hear myself talk about what's going on. Anyways. Uh, this is going to be a Zerk versus Protoss. Looks like my opponent is gonna be a bit of a jerk. This is my first game playing with my own voice pack. It's so strange. I want to win real bad, obviously, but I have no idea how smoothly this is gonna go. <laughs> Alright, let's see how it goes. Hold on. Yes, it got added. All right, let's see how it goes. Hold on. Yes, it got added today. Hey. <laughs> That's awesome. You can now go ahead and purchase it in game. It's seven euros and 50 cents. I do get a percentage from the seals, which is awesome. Oh man. All right, game <laughs> it's so strange. It's so strange to hear myself talk. All right, game resumed. I can do like an exact copy of the voice lines as well. You know what? I'm just... Need more I'm just gonna shut up for a little bit. I'm just gonna shut up for a little bit and just listen to what's going on. <laughs> Here we go. So, here's the thing. You guys know I'm a big fan of StarCraft, right? And I've been playing for so long. Listen to what's going on. On. You guys know I'm a big fan of StarCraft, right? And I've been playing for so many years that the sheer fact that I've had the option to work on this is, is already so, so cool. It's just, you know, it's just something I didn't really expect all those years ago when I first picked up StarCraft. Anyhow, let us try and play a regular good old macro game and we'll see where it goes. I mean, I should really try and, and, and win, right? I think that's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a given. Looks like we have one gateway right here, a comment or a quick nexus right there as well. Of course. That. Cybercore. He did start up a research right there. It's not going to happen. Need more minerals. <laughs> I uh, I am gonna have <laughs> I am indeed gonna have to pay attention to the cybercore to see what's going on. But already, man, this is so funny. I um I know right now that he's getting himself the warp gate research. <laughs> it's so confusing to hear myself talk. Did I make an overlord? Oh, no, I forgot This game is gonna be a mess. It's gonna take some time It's gonna take some time to uh, to get prepared and, and to get used to uh, to hearing myself talk several times No, Loco, what are you doing? You are fighting your This This game is such a mess you need more of them. Oh no. Oh no. It's it's surprisingly difficult to focus. Gotta get it, Loco. Alright. Now it's been a while since I did one of these videos, but it's coffee time. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now it's been a while since I did one of these videos, but but it's coffee time. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now I hope that uh, I hope that you can't see my terrible cable management all too much. And in case you get bothered real bad, I, I put Lenny the Zerkling right there on the corner of my desk. So you know, hopefully that's enough distraction. 
Now, as you may have already noticed by the title of this video, yes, I am starting up a second YouTube channel. Now, let me, let me explain to you why that is. All right, so here's the thing. I've always had this YouTube channel for the best content that I can produce, and then I've also had my Twitch a live stream. Generally speaking, I work about six days a week, so I make six videos a week, and then I live stream six days a week as well. Now on the YouTube channel, I've always tried to post the best quality content that I can and I try and be very specific about what I upload. For example, for every professional game of StarCraft 2 that I post to the channel, I probably cast like two or three matches just because I only want to post the very best ones. Now live streaming is obviously a little bit differently because I cannot guarantee the same level of gameplay or always the same exact mood for me. I mean, sometimes I have bad days, believe it or not. Now on my main channel on YouTube, I am focused on like 80% StarCraft 2, right? I mean, I try and at the very... ...very at least focus on a ton of StarCraft 2 because it's my personal favorite. game. However, on Twitch, I, I have been doing a variety of games. I've been playing a variety of games for, well, literally years now. I mean, there was a time when I used to play only StarCraft 2 and I missed out on a bunch of really cool re releases. And then I realized if you're going to be playing video games for a living, why are you only playing one type? Anyways, long story short, on my hard drive, on my computer right now, I've got terabytes and terabytes full of content of completed games that I played while live streaming on Twitch. And it, it's just sort of sitting there. So here's the plan for the second channel. I want to upload hour-long episodes of completed games that I played while live streaming on Twitch. I know there's a lot of people that aren't able to make it to the live stream because obviously I, I stream a Monday through Saturday, 2 to 8 p.m. CEST. That's a good time for me, but if you're, for example, in, I don't know, like the Australias or in the United States, uh, that time frame may not necessarily be good for you. And I know a lot of you might be interested in watching, but you're not going to be able to because well so really it's pretty straightforward there's a lot of games that i completed over the years like for example well the very first playthrough i'm gonna upload is resident evil 7 but i have god of war shadow of the tomb raider factorio satisfactory anno 1800 dark souls remastered i mean there's a whole lot of games that i played over the last couple of years that i've got the footage from and it's just kind of just sitting there on my hard drive for no apparent reason do you have any Kind of just sitting there on my hard drive for no apparent reason. Do you have any hobbies outside of what most of your followers would know you for? So if you follow me on Instagram, you can probably see some of the weirder stuff that I like. Like, for example, bonsai trees. I like going to the gym as well, although those are currently closed because we are once again in, in like isolation and quarantine over here. Not really anything that I don't share, I don't think. I really like wristwatches as well, which is a bit bit of a weird hobby, but I don't really, no, I don't really hide anything. What countries would you like to visit? So there's actually quite a few. The one that's probably on top of the list that I would like to visit at some point is South Korea. I've never actually been, and since I really like StarCraft, that's probably a good start, but I would like to go maybe to Japan at some point. I would love to go to Iceland. Like, there's like a bunch of different places. Kuro asks a couple of Iceland. Like, there's like a bunch of different places. Kuro asks a couple of questions. First off, are you going to switch from StarCraft anytime soon? Or are you gonna still make content for it until it completely dies out? First off, is StarCraft ever gonna truly, like, die out? I don't think so. Um, I mean, StarCraft 1 has been around for a very long time. And it's... Um, I mean... Think so. I mean, StockRev 1 has been around for a very long time and it still is doing very well. As a matter of fact, in 2021 and 2020, it seems to be doing better than it pretty much ever has. So, anyways, I don't know exactly. I, I don't really follow StockRev 1 super closely. So, it's. StarCraft gonna die out anytime soon at some point? I don't think so, no. I do think there's like a core audience 
that loves strategy games, and that includes myself. I'm a massive fan of StarCraft. Uh, just really love casting and, well, I mean, right now I'm not playing so much, but usually I also enjoy playing the game quite a bit too. Am I going to switch from StarCraft anytime soon? Honestly, as, as long as you guys are interested in watching StarCraft, content i want to keep making it as well obviously this is kind of what i do for a living at this point right i've been making you know video content for several years full time right now actually it's been i think it's been like five years or something at this point i don't even know it's been a good amount of time and as long as people are interested i prefer covering my favorite game right which at this point is starcraft 2 if i look at my youtube analytics real quick so i don't mean this as like a flex but just so I don't mean this as like a flex, but just to like give you like a, an indication. This year in 2021, um, let me see. In 2021, let me see. In 2021, I got 43 million views. Is that correct? Yeah, I think that's correct. So compared to 2020, in 2020, we had 46 million views. Meaning that there were obviously slightly less views. But to me, that's a ton of... like That's, that's a number I can't even really imagine. So um, as long as there's people interested, man, I am not going to be switching from StarCraft anytime soon. No. Um, I, I love casting the game. Um, and even if I'm currently in a bit of a lull when... No, I, I love casting the game, um, and even if I'm currently in a bit of a lull when it comes to playing it, because I'm, I'm kind of at that, at that MMR point where one little mistake can cost you the game, and then I get killed by Void Race. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's just not as much fun Void Race. It's, it's, yeah, it's just not as much fun for me to play currently, but I absolutely love casting, so I'm not going to stop doing it anytime soon. Hello.